Go ahead, HQ. Lieutenant Duran, since you have shown such concern for this device's inherent danger, I charge you with finding this weapon and securing it. We will commence with its destruction once we've cleared the area. <laughs> What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to level 3 of the Terran campaign and this is one of my favorite missions in the entire campaign. It's a pretty straightforward mission. Our sensors are tracking Zerg signals in every direction. It appears that our intelligence was correct. This is a pretty Admiral, straightforward... If we focus on destroying all of the hives in this area, we may be able to neutralize these Zerg without too much trouble. Yeah, as Duran stated, it's pretty straightforward. We, all we need to do is destroy all of the hive clusters, and then the Zerg are done for. After that, they they don't have control of their units anymore. Now, um, this is really not a difficult level. It can be challenging to deal with the red and the orange bases, as you can see. Orange is completely air defense based. Red is completely um, ground defense based, and then purple and brown are a bit of a mix. Oh yeah, it should be noted that HCVs can be healed by medics. Nice little thing to have on our sides. Uh, oh yeah, 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 okay, so that base over there is perfectly fine. Claim this base here on the side as quickly as you possibly can to benefit from the extra minerals and income. And uh, we're gonna take down Brown first. It's the easiest and the closest bait to take down. And we want to take hold of the resources that it has to offer us as well. For now, just get the basics up and running. We've got Medic, so most of the stuff that they're gonna be throwing at us is gonna be easy to quell. Um, also, just like a little bit of a funny story. When I started playing Starcraft Brood War as a kid, I got to this level and um, you you destroy the hives and then of course the Zerg lose control of their units and I, I always thought that if I play a skirmish match, the same will apply, destroy their hives and then you have no control of their units, so that of course never worked out. And uh, the Hunter Killers of course as well, the Hunter Killers... Being the special hydralisks, I also thought that if I play as Red Zerg, then I'll have Hunter Killers. And uh, that didn't work out either. So I was really, really young when I started playing this game. And of course, did not understand <laughs> the difference between hero units and um, the, the common units. Anyways, back to focusing on the game. There's not really much commentary that I can give about this level. It's, it's straightforward for the most part. Just full base, full lots of units, stay alive, get resources, make lots of units, and destroy everything in your path. Ta-da. Uh, we are primarily going to be focused on a combination between marines, siege tanks and medics. We're not going to be too concerned about anything else because there is not much reason to be doing something like that. So... So yeah, of course you can go for the Goliath style play, but in Brute War I do like playing with marines and medics because marines are so incredibly and stupendously strong and durable with the medics on their side it's like they go from a tier one unit to a tier three unit and yeah it, like needless to say it makes them incredibly scary put the ran into one of these bunkers for safety reasons bolt bolt supply depots in front of it and um yeah just 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 get your defenses up and running you can also it's a pretty good idea to build a factory right in front so, uh, good line of defense, actually, believe it or not, as I've demonstrated in the last level of the Protoss campaign in StarCraft, the original one. And missile turrets, of course, bold missile turrets. They are just as important. Actually, in fact, I think I'm setting myself up for a problem building it over there. I'll probably block a siege tank inside by doing that. Ah! This is why we need missile turrets. Makes it a little bit easier to deal with those kinds of units. You don't have to make a ton of defenses though, so don't worry too much about something like that. You you just need to have like two bunkers. 
Don't even bother with building too many bunkers over here because we're gonna take care of the of the bronze orc soon. Uh, but for sure, we're gonna need another barracks or two at least. So this line of defense over here is gonna be enough. Did someone page me? Keep these units close by for any more brown attacks that come through. And um, yeah, keep on keep on making. ACBs on both sides so that we can benefit from the income. Okay, so far so good. Keep mode. And now just build a bunker on both sides. Make a little bit of space over there as well. Two siege tanks will also be enough for this line of defense, and then that's pretty much it for our defenses. Ta da! Okay, with these. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, build a turret or two over here. You might get some unexpected mutalisk attacks just like that one. And we don't want to have to be forced to send our units all the way in order to go and deal with something like that. In order to get access to something like a medic, you're gonna need an academy. So, uh, yeah, build your academy. And then we can also get access to the scanner suite. From here on out, we're just gonna build a big marine army. Uh, combined with medics, and then we're just gonna charge into this base over here. We can place two or three siege tanks over there. And then just quickly steamroll the rest. There are other approaches too. You can use vultures or spider mines. Uh, you can go for a wraith style bolt. You, you, you've got you've got a lot of options, needless to say. So make make use of the one that's going to be the most comfortable to you. But for the most part, I just like to go with the the marine medic siege tank approach. Okay, two more siege tanks. Get our scanner sweeps, handy little device to have on our side. And yep. Just keep on making those units. In fact, build a starport over here so that we can get access to the science facility for extra upgrades. Okay. Two more medics and we should be more than fun enough in order to go and deal with the base on the side. You'll notice that um, they don't really have upgrades or anything super to worry about. I mean, we can just place our siege tanks here on the sides and then knock down the hive from over there. So, um, in, in fact, we're just going to use all of our siege tanks and do exactly that. Just wait for the range to finish up. And let's go and kill the Zerg. Keep on making Marines in the meantime. We don't want to have to run out of, re uh, uh, of units. They will, of course, come and try to deal with our units. So give our siege tanks the best spot that we can. And just literally have them focus fire that, that hive. That's all they have to worry about. Everything else will be dealt with no problem. It will be a good idea for us to make use of raids in this level. Especially for the purple base. So if we can get another another one of those up and running, it's gonna be a good idea. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, we never upgraded them. I forgot about that. Just as I thought, this brood can't operate without its primary hive cluster. Okay, so from here on out, we're just gonna send in the marines to clear out everything else for us. Um, just to make room for a another base. I actually forgot that we could just as well build a command center over there. 
And uh, with that command center, we can just fly over. Yeah, that, that siege tank needs to urgently be repaired. So, science was, oh, actually, no, wait, we already did that. Sorry, I forgot about that. So, yeah, just pulled another one of those. Okay, so, while they are busy playing and having fun, we are gonna start moving forward. about timing the base here on the middle side also means that this bunker over here is not as important anymore okay Put our siege tanks into siege mode and uh, claim this base over here. Start making a ton, a ton of raids. We're gonna need them. Okay, so um, get a good view of what is going on over here so that we can see where's the best location for us. We're going to need to get our siege tanks in right over here. And the rates are going to be needed for uh, getting us some vision and helping us deal with, with um, their flyer units as well. And of course, send in your units there on the bottom side so that they can defend this base over here. Unfortunately, I have more than enough units. Okay, from here on out, we don't even have to worry about all of that nonsense. We need more supply depots, and uh, getting a science facility is probably not going to be a bad idea. Restoration is actually not that important, but nonetheless, always a nice little thing to have on our side. Now, try not to send in your raids into this fight. We want to make use of their vision. So, knock down their defenses first, see if we can bait them to come and pick a fight with us. And then once we are done with all of these, we're going to send in the reds to get some vision on the hive. Okay. These reds are also going to be pretty handy in dealing with the red base since they don't have any air to take care of our reds. I mean, of course, if we if we had something like um, what do you call that thing, a science facility, well, not a science facility, a science vessel, it would be even easier. There we go. Looking good. Okay, so the next step is place our marines here at the front. So that they can suck up the most of the damage. Send in our rates for repair. Oopsie daisy. Um, these. These ones, of course. And keep at least one that we can keep close enough to deal with everything else. You'll be fine. Oh, 
Talk to fire the hive, of course. Am I? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see what I was missing. Okay, so far so good. Things are looking pretty nice for us, and this level is actually almost uh, at an end as well, so... Yep. Almost there. The next base that we're gonna be taking down is the red base. There's not much that we really need to worry about at this stage. Uh, the minerals here are starting to clear up gradually, so time to move our units over. They have ultralisks, so be careful uh, facing off against that. More the reason why we're gonna need these kinds of units to help us out. They have hydralisks too last time I remember. But let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Be careful. Let's see, I cannot actually remember. Do they have hydralisks? No? Actually they don't. Well, in any event. Oh they do actually. Okay, so now what we need to do is make sure and stay watched that we don't end up losing all of these raids. They are not upgraded, so it means that, of course, they can die very easily if we don't keep watch. While all of that is busy happening, maybe make another line of siege tanks and let's move towards dealing with the orange base next. So I... it's... it's pretty much safe to say that we can just send in our marines for the most part and our tanks because no super defenses to worry about yeah they have guardians and so forth but for the most part nothing really super concerning oh yeah and of course duran should get to that over there Pretty much the end of the level. Disruptor. Shall we plant the explosives on it? Lieutenant Duran, we're here to relieve you. We've come with orders from Admiral Stukov himself to facilitate the disruptor's disassembly. Very well. Take it away. Captain, I'll be returning to the command ship presently. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A fun little level, in my opinion, to play. Quick and effective, pretty easy and straightforward. Hope that you learned something new from this tutorial. And, of course, stay tuned for level 4 of the Terran campaign. And uh, with more interesting things to see about what happens in this awesome campaign. So I'll definitely see you next time. Stay tuned.